Yeah, as I was talking earlier, the end before my mic before I started wandering off onto some of the tables. Uh, the mic muffler. I've got a, one of you, the subscribers, I think it rains with. Rains with. Did mention that. Uh, who is it, John? John? Said my voice did seem a bit quieter. With the uh, muffler on, mic muffler, and there you have it. We've got the police just up the road, which is what I was telling you about. I passed them this morning in the uh, settle at the normal place, which I point out to you a couple of times. As you go under the bridge in the 30, just as you enter the 40, he was in the usual entrapment place two-way camera you don't stand a chance you turn that corner you go in you know you know it, well I, I, there's no point me going on about it you know how I feel about that no problem with the cameras at all whatsoever <laughs> not a problem whatsoever But what I've got a problem with is when it's entrapment, you know, when they're in a position where they can have you as you, as you leave 13 to a 40 or so, so on and so on, you know what, anyhow, I've mattered about it before, you know, from that matter. So somewhere along here, we've got uh, the nice van. I think I can see the roof of it as we speak. Some very nice motorcyclists out today. Everyone bought two's one. But um, I wouldn't have been going over 60 on yeah, YouTube. I know this road. I know how it's um, policed. So it, that you know, I'd have been all right. By the way, they can get you both ways now. I, I do hope you're aware of that. They can get you going away from them. I've seen them because uh, I've stopped a couple of times for a matter with the guys. And uh, yeah, they can get you both ways. The camera. You're all right up to 66 of course, anything over 66, then you're done. They've all told me the same, 66. If you got caught doing 67 in a 60, even though you've got the 6 miles grace, you do get done for 67. So even if you're doing like, as I say, 66 you're all right, from what I've been told by the uh, camera operators themselves, and I've spoken to several now, several different ones. To be fair, they're all decent guys, they're just doing a job, they've all got to do a job, so I'm not knocking them at all, but they are told where to put, where to go. They're not given an opportunity, a choice. They're, they're pre-told, and they're the uh, locations that the guys have to go to um, patrol. The weather's proper turning now, guys. I mean, turning rapid, and not for the better. Yeah, so they are pre-told. So, as I say. Not a problem with the guys, all decent guys, all them I've spoke to, all been willing to talk. And they've all told me the same. They have now got ANPR, automatic number plate recognition as well. And they've all got links through to the police. Should you give them any aggro, they can then pick a radio, contact the police and then you're in double trouble. And to be fair, it's not them you need to give the aggro. 
they just as I say they're just doing the job. And the one that sport sporting do don't believe, you know, they they ruining your day by giving you they 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 truly oh the ones I've spoken to firmly believe that they're saving your life you know by doing what they're doing which again they probably are but not in the locations they're doing it in some of the locations I'll rephrase that I'm not going to the locations again but you know my views yeah so they've told me 66 in a 60 but if you do 67 you're going to get done for 67 and not one mile over the speed limit just because you've got the six miles grace it doesn't um, you get that you get what I'm getting at you don't get done for uh, you don't get done for one mile over you get done for seven even though you've got six miles of grace cameras themselves they've shown me the cameras and I'm not kidding you they are second to none they're crystal clear them lenses crystal clear about the size of a cork can in diameter and obviously they've several ways now front back and sideways so you've no escape you've literally no escape Nice. None whatsoever. And the, you know the the view. I we can. Oh, there's no point. You know, keep going on about it. What they are. Absolutely brilliant bit of kit. They don't miss anybody. We even said even if you get close up behind another car. I don't think you're going to get it away with it because they'll get you as well. They're that quick. Really quick. So as one car flicks by, it's, you, you, you've been got. And there's two, as it lays in some adults, there's two, two things you get your way. So you've literally no escape. That's Ribblehead. I did read about Ribblehead one day and there's a few people lost their lives building that well that was being built you're still in the 60 going down here but I do advise to go a bit slower purely because if you can see the built up uh, vehicles and the kids are biting animals and kids and animals spell trouble so I do advise to slow down there is a, um, a brew cafe malarkey cabin thing down here there it is in front of us look see what I mean that gives you uh, you know if I'd have been coming around there hurtling around there at 60 your eyeballs would have been attached to your visor simple as and that's what I'm on about so perfect example there guys just slow down even though you're in a 60 just take it easy a bit there this is the entrance to what we call Ribblehead Road. You've seen Ribblehead Viaduct. And this is a road now back to Settle. Proper fast road. Again, it is uh, police camera. Uh, one night, me and Sprocket came over here in car. And they're actually a police car parked in the most precarious position. I'll try and remember it as I get there. If I remember to tell you. <laughs> And he had a tripod and he was sat in the back of it, I think it was one of them four before jobbies with back up and he was sat in back at car with tripod in front of him and it was on a red hot evening that but the position he was in uh, could, it was could have been up for discussion whether that was safe or not really I'll show you if I remember we don't want to be behind this character on way back here so I'll dispose of him as soon as I can Trinity Academy which will be would have been just about now but for the public uh, and he's got public on both sides of the road so it would be unwise to uh, whip past him at the moment 
it's really well known this place for walkers and cyclists a lot of cyclists and end it there you know we've all got his own little bit of uh, enjoyment whichever you choose cycling walking or motorcycling we've all got to you know we've all got to enjoy the countryside I'm not going to get around him here he knows I'm trying to get past um, he's doing nothing wrong he's in a he's driving uh, carefully real got a steam train there there you go he's obviously looking at the steam train as well look at all them carriages not the Carlisle to settle settle the Carlisle even <laughs> Well, call out to settle as well, I suppose. The tight bend up here, I could whip round in there, but I'd have to anchor on to get round the bend. Also, you'll see it when I get there. And we're coming up to it now where he's just popped there, yon lad. And this is it. And it's a right hander than a left hander. And it's a good job because uh, farm tight chap, eh? With his little truck thing and uh, yeah is there a car coming there's a car coming and the motorcycle but once that's passed I am clear to go check behind nobody behind check in front road is clear let's proceed and go these doors open now that was a safe overtake was it not YouTube So we're on it now, road's clear, you can see the countryside. And we'll come down to another uh, pub down here as we enter this. We, Riverhead, we always call it two parts, me and lads. We always describe it as two parts. Obviously, this is the first part going back and the second part coming. Um, But if we were describing anything, say the first part of Riverhead or the second part of Riverhead going, and then we know exactly where each one of us is talking about. There's a long straight, as which will be our second part of Riverhead, and that's the, if I remember right, that's where the police car was, proper dodgy place, and the tripod was up. South side. Do be careful down here, it's 30 mile an hour for a reason and you'll see as we twist into it. It does narrow into a very narrow road. Looks like it opens up here, but it doesn't, you go into a sharp left hander. Here, then a right, then a left. That's your left, slight right. And then you need to get another right here. As it opens up, now it opens up and goes into that left. And you can pile a bit of power on here back into a 60. Just be careful at walk, as I've said. And we're coming up to a corner up here that we call Laguna Seca. Proper nice cut. This is a pop going the way back. This corner here proper is a beautiful corner. That one we just come round going the other way. Uh, you can really get a bit of speed up. This one coming up here now, this is Laguna Seca, as we call it. Proper dodgy bend on the way down if you don't know it's there. In the early days it wasn't, um, it wouldn't have all these road markings, <laughs> in fact there were no markings at all. You didn't know that were coming up. On the way back it's proper tight, you're not going the other way. And none of these road markings were anywhere. And because you didn't know the road, it was uh, thought funny back lads to get you over there for your first ride and wait for you to the side as you came round, as your eyeballs hit the visor, as you tried to get shut at speed. Not funny, really dangerous. A couple of lads have lost bikes there. But obviously it's really well marked now, proper marked.
I will uh, once I do get back to settle well, I'll show you where the, the police car was I'll show you another area where he goes and oh not the police car the traffic traffic car but uh, once I get back to settle I will knock it off because you've been that way several times and I will knock the camera well I'll leave the camera running but I'll stop narrating in case but I'll leave it on in case something happens then I can show you but as you go into this third year I'll show you where the camera van usually is in the summer he's parked right there right where it says tea rooms there he's parked there and he faces down here so as you're coming through this village here he's bought there that's the bad news the good news because he's brought back in, up against the wall the back camera can't get you however remember what I've told you the new vans the new vans are front back and side if the side windows open on the vehicle as you come up here and you are speeding if the side windows open he's got you because there's a camera pointing out to the side so he'll be pointing forward getting you speeding and through the side window as you could pass with the camera take your photo don't know why the car stopped there there oh, it's one of them so bear that one in mind you do <coughs> bear that one in mind the camera vans can get you sideways, either side, front and back. The new ones, and they're the silver ones. Well, they're them new blue and yellow ones, aren't they? Eh? Look like a gas van. KTM chop it. <coughs> Couple of uh, cafes in here and a pub. There you go, Penny Gent Cafe to my right. Rich shot. Rich shot. One to my left. Big truck in front. I ain't going to get down there and they're going to have to come back or something I've pulled in that'll do for me as the blockage on the, his side it's I have the right to go so another camera chore to chappy there do you see camera on the side of his helmet he's obviously narrating could be a fellow vlogger what time are we? 12.54 now so we're not doing so bad I'll be home in plenty of time to make sure that uh, Sprocket gets out today. Turn into your car. Never not passed this chappy one. How did he get in front again? Must got to be another one. Surely I'll check that registration when I get home. When I watch this film back, he can't be in front of me. I'm sure I, I did overtook him. Clearly, obviously, to Trinity Academy buses. November X-ray 55 Echo Whiskey Fox Drop. We'll check that. If that car hasn't been coming, that uh, cyclist where he's about to overtake now. And in there, they've been round him. However, another opportunity will present itself. Some stage. Them two slightly on it a bit. Have you ever been guilty of stupid overtakes? And be honest, YouTube. Be honest here. Put your hand up if you I have. I've done a couple of stupid overtakes. Less stupid over to this next corner this twisty what we're coming into right last year year before when it was red hot they all blend into and the, the road melted I'm serious now 
this bend here, I promise, I kid you not, this road melted. It was shiny, like a, like a river. Wait for this chappy to overtake and I'm going. The road melted. It was that hot. I kid you not. Yeah, so now you've been over Riverhead with me, I hope it uh, met your expectations. You've heard me speak about it in the past. I said we go over Riverhead and we've been over Riverhead. I'll show you down here another uh, location for the uh, camera. Catches a lot of people out. And it's one of them again. I'll show you how you come down. Is it from a 60 to a 40? And you're not given any leeway. You come straight into it. And if you're not going to speed, the camera is bang on where you enter the 40. No reason for it to be there because you're still not. Um, endangering the public you know you're way off where the public are but that's where they've decided to change the speed limit and uh, that's where they get you you know there's no warning like countdown three signs before you get to 40 you know, with them like markings, what they have on motorways, staying for, you know, like three markings, two markings, one marking, 40. None of that marker, 60, 40. As soon as you enter that 40, bang, you go. So, if you come this way, YouTube, from another area, be fully aware. I'll show you. And then we've not so far from settled then where I will uh, say adios once again. And uh, <coughs> I shall make for home then. Stop matter, it's just round this corner then, it's this slow way now. Slow, 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 slow. There you're 40. Can you see that 40? You're in the 60. Till you get to that 40 sign. Watch this. 40, turn this corner, bang is there. I'll show you. I'll show you exactly. So you get no count down. You know, you've got up to here really, to there to where, because before you come to an hazard. But that, this part there, right there, right there, pointing. Right at that 40 sign. Right at the 40 sign. So as soon as you leave that 60, and into that 40, you've got to be doing 40 or less. Or you'll pay the price. Three penalty points and a fine. And that's how it is. And again, to me, that's entrapment. Can you say road? They pushed up there, away at wagons, come round there, then big heavy wagons. They push the road up, and it's pretty bad, is that really? Especially for a biker. Great big lump in on bend. Proper big lump. And then we go down to a 30. That's the Malon turn off, we've just passed it where we have been in the past where we nip up to Malon. And then we bend, go down this bend here, and we come down to the 30. And don't forget, pointing that way, that's where it's parked, the camera there, pointing that way. So when you come down that bend there, you better be doing 30, because if you're not, he's got you. Got you, and, and you cannot see the camera from around that bend, you know, as you're going the other way you do not know he's there, but the moment you turn that corner if you're not doing 30 or less again, 3 points and a 5 
please be aware that I'm buried in my new tube you come this way. I'm only trying to help. And if there's any police or safety camera operators watching this, I'm sure you'll agree with me. I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm just trying to make the roads safer by explaining to people the speed limit. And that's only my intentions. Which I'm sure you'll all agree. <coughs> then we're back into settle. I'll leave the camera going until we get past uh, the garage and settle because there's a, possibly a few bikes about and we'll get a good view of some motorcycles as we tootle through. There's the toilets over there guys, if you come this way in the loo, get fuel there and there's toilets there. Toilets here are free, you don't need your 20 pill like you do at Leyburn and Hose. <coughs> a couple of chippies, a couple of cafes, a couple of pubs. Gifty tart, knick-knacky shops, painting shop, you know, there's the usual few shops about. Ice cream parlour, chemist. There you go. The cafe here, the cafe here that main, mainly a lot of people go is called the Naked Man. The Naked Man. My, <laughs> my camera's just gone on to low battery, so that's good. Or oh, it could be my helmet. I haven't charged my helmet up. You have to charge this helmet up because it's Bluetooth. I haven't done that. It's got the Senna Bluetooth system in it. It's called SC10 or something. In the helmet itself. And uh, that does need charging up. And uh, went out on the Sunday. Which you'll have seen by the time you get this video. The three, the three videos in that series. Um, and I never charge the helmet up. I put two on. I put one on yesterday. I put one on today, and I'll put another one on tomorrow. The, the concluding one, and I've got uh, this one today to put up. Uh, I'll just edit it down slightly. I'll. Uh, I'm going to stick a picture in YouTube. I'm not going to tell you what the picture's about. Well, you've seen it by the time. Uh, you watch this one it's I'm gonna put you a picture of my beautiful sprocket on the day I married her 37 years ago on the 28th of June this year I'll put you a picture of my my sprocket and she uh, she does she looks the same now she she looks she, she hasn't changed much still beautiful beautiful girl Arthur Gold just sometimes misunderstood. <laughs> uh, I love it a bit. I wouldn't swap her. And you'll see why when I you'll, you'll have seen why when when you see the, the picture. But it's just not the the how how beautiful somebody is, is it? It's, it's the person herself. And she is actually as good inside as she looks on the outside. And that's enough of H sprocket for today. Settle the roundabout. That's the roundabout we just passed. That's also on camera. And that gives you an indication of the road surface of this area in spring and autumn and summer if you want to see it. Don't usually bother in summer unless it's forecast for every rain because even down the road where we live it can be raining and bone dry up here so you know sometimes I do check it out but it's not a live feed it's uh, so many seconds and minutes in between each picture like the one at Pennygoth Cafe is a live feed you get what you get you actually see it happening as you're watching so YouTube I'm going to say bye for now because I'm getting completely Unundated with low battery warnings. 
to it's bye for now adios and i'll see you on the next adventure of morpha thank you all once again for sticking with me anybody who comments thank you for your comment i will answer thank you all youtube please subscribe if you haven't and tell your friends that's if you like this sort of thing and the more subscribers the better it is for me i have 69 which is good but the more the merrier thank you all once again morphy signing off adios youtube adios